Welcoming the Elohim. The, the, the planet the Elohim. Something is happening in the world right now. Something beautiful and fantastic. But of course, the media are trying to make everybody afraid of it. Newspapers sell only when it's negative. I recommend because many people, when you wake up, you check the news. It's not the news. It's the news selected by negative people. War, pollution. They select what create fear. So people buy the newspaper because they are addicted to negative. There is two newspaper in the in the stand. Big title on one. War. Russia more weapon. North Korea dangerous for America. And another newspaper. Scientists discover a new technology to cure cancer. Scientists are very close to have eternal life. Which newspaper sell more? The one with war. Which one do you buy? Raelian maybe will choose the other one. Not sure. Because you are conditioned to look with fear, to nourish your fear, to feed your fear. So, newspaper you have to buy, but you have internet radio. Television, there is no choice. You have the most important channel, you watch the channel, and it's selected by negative people. And you start the day by looking at it, or listening to it. How, how do you think your day will be? <laughs> Terrible. You start your day by learning about possibility of war, inflation, uh, jobless people. How will your day will be? Remember, one of the most important teaching of the message. Happiness is a decision. It's a choice. Who choose? Which part of you? The supraconsciousness. The intelligence? Look everywhere and want to buy the negative newspaper. It's used to it. It makes you think more. So it's not the supraconsciousness. Supraconsciousness shows happiness. But 
Ah, Maître, you are wonderful, I agree. I choose to be happy. Meditation when I wake up, everything is beautiful. Then you turn on the TV. <laughs> Don't do that. Let the shit eaten be eaten by the shit lover. To choose happiness, it is to choose positive things all day long. Not even five minutes at lunch break to watch negative news. You can make an experience. You can also find it on the internet. Watch the news 10 years ago. And today. Same. Same shit. Make people afraid of uh, China, of Russia, Korea, Venezuela, Iran. Same. Go camping for one week. No TV, no radio, no internet, and watch the news when you come back. You didn't miss anything. It's still the same shit. And if you check with the internet, it's easy. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, same shit. They call it news. There's nothing new. I was uh, reading newspaper from 1950 on internet. We must work hard. There is a lot of money problem. There is economic crisis. Crisis is a medical term, okay? Crisis, definition of dictionary, is something short and strong. The opposite of crisis is something which becomes eh? chronic. It stays forever. There is no economic crisis. But the government tells you. They justify their incapacity to govern by saying it's an economic crisis. Read on the internet. The news from 1950. Front page only, huh? 1960, 1980, same shit. <laughs> so, but people believe, ah oh, yes, with economic crisis, there is no employment, there is a problem of money. It's lies. Illusions. One zero point zero zero one percent of people own fifty percent of everything on Earth. And their wealth is increasing every year. Economic crisis? 
When you have more and more billionaires, if we had an economic crisis, everybody will be homeless. Poor people are more poor, yes. But rich people are more and more rich. But they want you to believe that there is economic crisis. You calculate hardly how you will feed your children. They calculate which color will be their next Rolls Royce. Very different question. How will we eat next month? Which color will be my next car? Illusions. There is no lack of money. There is no lack of food. We throw every day millions of tons of food. But African people, some African people, have nothing to eat. It's just a question of organization. There is enough food on earth to feed everybody. Even two times more people than we have. But rich people destroy what is the food which is uh, available. Last week, in France, they destroyed 100 tons of tomatoes. Farmers. Why? Because the price of tomatoes was going down. So to, to keep the price high, they destroyed it. And African children are starving to death. No newspaper talk about it. They talk about North Korea, Iran, all the stupid things. But they don't tell you the truth. Even money is an illusion. Who has a 10,000 yen bill here? Somebody has? Amitio, you have one? Yeah, but you is rich. <laughs> One hundred dollar, huh? Ten thousand yen. What is it? Paper. Paper. But it's written ten thousand. You can take a piece of shit and write ten thousand on it. How much does it cost to make one bill of 10,000 yen? Less than one yen. It, less, it costs less than one yen to print. But they write 10,000. Illusion. Merci, Michio. Or maybe I keep... <laughs> And this is for everything. You, debt. Everybody talk about debt. The national debt of Japan, of America, of France. To make you afraid. Debt to who? 
who, who are with, with the, at the source, at the, the origin of that? The banks. What do they do, banks? They print 10,000 yen. <laughs> they print a big amount of money and they lend to governments. And then they say, you owe us plus interest. And with that, they buy Rolls Royce. If like, if you need money, During the night, I will put right many bill of a thousand yen, and I give it to you. I say, wait a minute, you will give back, give me back eleven thousand. <laughs> this is the system you are in. A long time ago, money was real money. Gold, silver, not a, not a paper. This is a joke. But you are trapped inside. You live in this illusion. And to trap you more, banks created something genius, very intelligent. Credit. Credit cards. They lend you money so you can buy a beautiful house. But you pay back the bank every month for 35 years. This is credit. And when you calculate the total amount of money, if you buy a beautiful house, one million dollars, you pay two million dollars. On 35 years, where goes the extra million dollars? in the pocket of the bankers. This is a crazy system to enslave you. People say, ah, oh, we are happy, there is no more slavery on us. If you have anything bought with credit, you are a slave. You don't have chain like the black people a few years ago. Your chain is called credit card. This is the reality of every day. Free yourself from slavery. Don't trap, fall in the trap. I never bought anything with credit. Never. I had no, no car, I was in Paris. With my little income of a sing, beginner singer, I save little money every month. When I had enough, I go to the garage and I pay cash. Two years using the subway, perfect. The subway is good. But people want to have the car immediately. Then you pay two times the price. Or three times. And you are trapped for 35 years if it's a house. Really like that. 
everything is illusion. And to escape from that, the Elohim give us beautiful systems. Geniocracy, paradism. And that's what I wanted to tell you at the beginning. All the media now are talking, oh, it's terrible, the computer will replace men. Soon, 90% of the jobs, they say, will disappear, you will be replaced by computers. Yes. Yes. And maybe 99% of people will be jobless. Yes. What will happen next? 100% of people will be jobless. On Elohim planet, nobody is working. All done by computers and robots. Nobody is working. I had a, a meal with them. The farming is made up by robots. The cooking is made by robots and computers. And robots bring the food to the table. Nobody is working. At least some more advanced news today. Which will shock some people, especially our scientists. Marcus, listen carefully. On Elohim planet, there is no scientist. There is no doctors. Everything is done by computers. Already in England, you have some doctors, they use a computer to diagnose people. A few years ago, I had eye surgery. Who makes the surgery in my eyes? A computer. The doctor was there to check if the computer worked well. So every, every job you can imagine will be made by computer. Why? What is a computer? It's an accumulation of data. From 40 years ago, I was telling you, everything man can do, man or woman, human being can do, a computer can make it better. Why? Because it's data. What is data? Past. <laughs> All the knowledge is past. And we have difficulty to remember everything. So much that even the doctors, you have specialists for here, for here, for here. No doctors can remember everything. Computer can. Computers have no problem to have all the knowledge of humanity. And to, ex and to extrapolate, to create new one. Even making research science. So, yes, that's a big news today. There is no scientist on the Elohim planet. There was long time ago when they created us. Not anymore. 
So what do they do? What do the Elohim do if there is no job? They enjoy now. That's why infinity is their religion. When you are in the now, you are in infinity. The past is limited. The future is limited. Now is infinite. Only now is infinite. And the computer can do every job we do. So the Elohim just enjoy now. And when you enjoy now, it becomes never boring. You have not enough of eternal life to enjoy now. I may say, eternal life is too short for, for it. I don't know if you can translate that. When you live in the now, eternal life is too short. Don't think about it. <laughs> Feel it. When you are in the now, there is no time. You can meditate one hour, one day. Suddenly you will be sleepy, you go to bed. But you don't see the time passing by. And that's a future, the beautiful future we have. <coughs> and people are so afraid we will lose our job. <coughs> and the media say we have to stop it. Computer will replace human being. <coughs> Be careful. They will control you. Yes. And it's beautiful. Now, look at the top. Imagine that all the leaders of the top countries in the world are computers. What will they do? They will destroy immediately all nuclear weapons. There was a beautiful movie about that. Where slowly computers take control on every country. And they have, they have been programmed to save humanity, of course. So the Russian computer, the American computer, the Chinese computer, talk to each other. And how can we save humanity? Let's destroy all nuclear weapons. Yes. So the future is beautiful when you live it in the now. The future is beautiful when you live it in the now.